Consumer Reports tested 23 popular protein powders and shakes. The results? Over two-thirds contained more lead in a single serving than what Consumer Report experts considered safe for an entire day. In some cases, levels were more than 10 times higher. Plant-based products had the most concerning results. Specifically, when it came to plant-based powders, they had some of the highest levels of lead. They were nine times higher than the dairy-based protein powders we tested, and they were double that of the beef-based powders we tested. Naked Nutrition's Vegan Mass Gainer tested at roughly 1,570% of CR's daily lead limit. Huel's Black Edition Vegan Powder also raised concerns with more than 1,200%. According to CR's experts, these products should be avoided altogether. A spokesperson for Huel said its ingredients undergo, quote, rigorous testing and that it was, quote, confident in the current formulation and safety of the products. In response to Consumer Reports findings, Naked Nutrition has requested a third-party test of its mass gainer supplement powder and said, quote, we take our customers' health very seriously. What about other types of protein supplements? When it comes to the dairy-based protein powders and shakes that we tested, we found that they had the lowest amounts of lead generally. Still about half of the products that we tested had concerning enough levels of lead or other contaminants that CR's experts advise not to use them daily. Nutritionists say most people don't even need protein supplements. Everyday foods like beans, tofu, eggs, dairy, fish, and lean meats, they already supply enough. But if you use powders, experts say be careful. CR experts say given the risks, you may want to use these only occasionally.